Hi guys, it's Mina, and I'm going to do a couple more top 10 videos. I know I said I'd be doing a knitting tutorial, but I'm going to postpone that for a little bit. Um, until tomorrow. I'm actually going to postpone it probably until tomorrow because I need, um, an example for the tutorial I'm going to do, which is the thumbhole arm warmers, and I'm going to have to get my mom, borrow my mom's, but I'm going to have to, but I'm want to wait till she gets home so I can ask her to do it. So anyway, today I'm going to do my top 10 old classes because I actually made this list a while ago and I forgot I needed to do it. So I'm going to get start started. And these are classics that I personally just absolutely love and I'll talk about why. And um, why, they're my, why they're my favorites. Because either the story or the comedy or whatever. And I do have some movie reviews up for some of these and I will say which ones and link them all down below if you guys are interested. I'm going to get started. Number one on my list would have to be Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to yawn. Anyway, <laughs> the reason I love Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory is because it was one of my uncle's, it wasn't really one of my uncle's favorites, but um, he, liked, he liked it a lot. Um, the reason I love it is because it has mainly because it has chocolate in it, and chocolate's my main weakness for sweets. I do have a sweet tooth for chocolate, and um, I love the story. I love the fact that it has a boy who has nothing gets um, more than he expect gets more than he expected when he goes to visit a candy shop, and that's what I love. Love it's fun. It's got a lot of sweets. Sweets. It's got a lot of songs. I love all the songs in the movie. And by the way, I'm talking about the 1970-something version, not the version with Johnny Depp. And I love all the characters, especially the Oompa Loompas. They're fun. Number two on my list would have to be Pillow Talk. Now, Pillow Talk is a film that stars Doris Day and Rock Hudson. And this was my first classic movie I ever saw. Well, actually, not really my first classic movie I ever saw, but for a classic, when I did a classic movie night with my mom and her friend, this was the first classic movie we, we watched for our classic movie night, and that's what began our classic movie night. So, um, I wanted to see a Doris Day film, and, um, my mom's friend suggested Pillow Talk. Hmm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yawn so much. So, um, the reason I like Pillow Talk is because it's funny, it show it kind of funny and it's got Doris Day singing and it's fun and the one thing I don't like I have one thing that's kind of annoys me about the movie is that they make women so dumb in that movie like not notice the notice this recognize the person as someone like you dislike that's what really annoys me me about that movie and it's kind of the same with um another lover come back Back, which is similar to Pillow Talk, because uh, it also stars Doris Day and Rock Hudson. Hudson, and it, that's the one. But what I love about it is it's funny. It's a fun movie, movie, because it shows like what, um, how you, like how you didn't, ha couldn't talk on the same, same line, and okay, so it shows how you couldn't talk on the same phone line as someone else back in the back in the 20s or 30s or whatever year that movie takes place in. Sorry, I thought I heard my phone go off. Off. It's pretty off, and I love movies that take place in certain, and like I said before, I love movies that take place in certain times periods because then you get to see what life was like like dur during the time and what they had back then and what ha they had during a certain time period. <gasps> Boom. Sorry about that. Number three on my list would have to be The Mask. Now, The Mask was one movie I lo watched a lot as a kid. And you're probably thinking, why did you watch that movie when you were a kid? Well, the reason I watched it when I was... I watched it with my mom's supervision, just so you guys know. Sorry, I can't... I'm sorry, I don't know why, but I think I keep hearing my phone go off. But I think it's just something else. Anyway, um... Back to what I was doing. The reason I like The Mask is because... Because it's funny, it's kind of goofy. It was actually one one movie I watched so much when I was a kid. I watched it a couple of times with my mom, and my mom likes my mom likes the movie too. Well, she doesn't like. I don't think she likes it that much because I overplayed it. I played it when I was little. 
I actually have two copies of movies. I have it on a tape copy somewhere, and I think it's downstairs in the basement, and I have a VHS copy that I got from my aunt. And, um, anyway, um, I love the goofiness. I love the, I love Jim Carrey. He's super funny. I love Cameron Diaz as well. She's one of my favorite actresses. She's so pretty in that movie. She was, like, in her 20s, and that was, like, I think her first movie she ever did. Oh, yeah, that was her first movie she ever did. I forgot, darn it. Anyway, I had no idea she was in that movie until I watched it with my mom one day because I was a big Cameron Diaz fan as a kid. So, I, what I, and what I like about it is it's just goofy, it's fun, it's got a lot of fun scenes, and it's pretty, pretty cool. Well, it's got Jim Carrey being crazy and goofy, and it's pretty funny how he's, like, crazy and goofy. Being that movie. And he is a pretty funny actor, and actor, especially crazy and goofy actor. Well, I'm not saying he's crazy as personality, but crazy when he's in the movies. So number four on my list would have to be Beauty and the Beast. Now, Beauty and the Beast is one of my all-time favorite movies, and the reason I love Beauty and the Beast so much is because it's a musical film, and I do love musicals, if you guys don't know me. And, um, I also, what I love is I love the story of how someone beautiful can fall in love with someone ugly, and then she looks inside and sees who, who he really is as a person. That, and I think that's a great lesson for us all, all is that when you meet somebody, it doesn't matter what they look on the outside, it's, what in, it's what in, what's found on the inside that counts. And I think it's a great lesson, lesson. and every time I meet people, I always think of that the story because it, cause I think, okay, so every time I meet people, I always think of the story because... I remember, I, I like the moral of the story, and I think it's a great moral. Moral, like, if somebody, I think, if I, if there's someone that, um, has a different look, I look in, look on the outside, I look inside of a, once I start to get to know them, I realize they're nice and kind and caring. Caring, and that's what I, and that's what, ha what I do whenever I meet people, is, it's the same way as my favorite fairy tale, Beauty and the Beast. So if you guys are interested in my Beauty and the Beast review, I'll link that down below. Number five on my list would have to be Charlotte's Web. Now, Charlotte's Web is an old movie that I love. I love that movie so much as a kid. I watched it probably 50 billion times when I was a kid. And I'm thinking about doing this or The Fox and the Hound for my birthday. I can't decide which one to review for my birthday. <sighs> so let me know in the comments below which one I should do. It's either Charlotte's Web or Fox and the Hound. Um, please be sure to let me know. What I love about Charlotte's Web is I love how it has a creative spider who writes in her web and a pig who befriends the spider and they both help each other and she becomes his friend and he's little pig starts to make new friends on the farm. And it's also got great songs. I love the songs so much. I actually sang along to them a couple times as a kid. I love this movie. It's one of my all-time favorite Paramount films. And by the way, if you guys want a top 10 Paramount movies video, please be sure to let me know in the comments below. I don't remember if I've seen that many Paramount films. Number six on my list would have to be Babe. Now, what I love about Babe is um, it's got a story about a pig who um, who makes a difference from being a regular pig. Like, he's supposed to eat slob, slob, and pigs aren't supposed to be very bright. But he changes all that when he starts to hang out with some border collies who are sheepdogs, and he... He shows everybody that he can be kind of like a sheepdog. Like he orders a bunch of animals to stay in line and he'll herd sheep and talk to them. It's really cute. I haven't seen Babe in so long. It's one of my all-time favorite films. Number seven on my list would have to be Singing in the Rain. Now the, sing the reason Singing in the Rain is one of my favorite movies is because I love... Um, I love the songs, I love 
the dancing, even though I don't really like to dance, but I like to watch people dance. I don't know why. It's just the weirdest thing. Like I mentioned in my Cast Out Dance review is that I don't really like to dance, but I like to watch people dance. I don't know why. It's just the weirdest thing. So I love Gene Kelly singing. I love De Debbie Reynolds singing. And she's the voice of Charlotte, by the way. I love the song, especially the Good Morning song from... Um, the movie and that's also in Singing in the Rain. That's one of my favorites. I would I probably would sing that movie But it's a morning song and I don't know if any of you guys are morning people <laughs> Number eight of my list would have to be Wizard of Oz. Now Wizard of Oz is one of my favorites This is one of my childhood films darn it. I should have added in my top ten childhood movies Movies and excuse me for saying darn it Anyway, the reason I love, love Wizard of Oz is because it shows a group of friends going on a journey to um, have some wishes come true. Like, one wants to go home, one wants a heart, one wants a brain, and one wants courage. Courage, and they all go on a journey together through the land of Oz. Oz and they have to go through obstacles together, and they have... Um, to work together to find help. And I do love the songs in that movie. And I love um, Judy Garland singing. Sorry, I had a brain fade. She's got really good singing. I love how she, I love it when she sings. Sings, she's got good pipes. <laughs> Number nine on my list would have to be Mrs. Doubt and Found. Now, Doubtfire. Now, Mrs. Doubtfire is a really funny movie, and that's another Robin Williams movie. I love, I might do a top 10 Robin Williams films. Film. So, if you guys want that, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. So, um, the reason I like Mrs. Doubtfire is because it shows Robin Williams dressing up as a woman to spend time with his children. And I love and a parent who will do whatever it takes to spend more time with their kids kids and be there for them when they the children need them it's pretty funny because he dresses up as an old lady and he'll just take any risk like become a house um, become a housemaid for his ex-wife especially just to see his kids number 10 on my list would have to be the lion king now the lion king is a childhood favorite of my me my sister i'm not too sure about my brother but i'm sure my sister and um, the reason I love The Lion King is because it's got a good story, it's got great songs, especially Akuna Matata. Akuna Matata is one that me, my mom, and my sister all sing a lot. It's my, Akuna Matata is my, like, my mom's favorite song. Like every time it comes on, my mom will just sing along, and so will I, and so will my sister. We all just sing along to the song. And it was a good song. My mom used to sing that song so much to get my sister to take a shower. It was so cute. And... I just love the bond between a father and his cub, or his father and son, it's cute. Because Simba's always around his dad, and he learns so much from him. And I love the bond between them, and how they're so close. I love those bond between characters and their parents, it's so cute. Okay, so those are my top 10 old classics. I hope you guys liked the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any requests, please be sure to let me know, and I'll see you guys in another video soon. Bye!